Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here I am with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be taking a look at our LEGO Lord of the Rings custom lake town that we put together in our LEGO Lord of the Rings display. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any of the videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's take a look at our LEGO Lord of the Rings lake town after the intro coming in now. And here it is from above, and it consists of official LEGO Lord of the Rings sets, as well as the LEGO Ideas Viking Village, and a custom mock that uh, the missus did many, many years ago now. Um, and we kind of... I kind of put them all together to kind of come up with a good like lake town to go in our Lego Lord of the Rings section. And as you can see the Viking Village I think makes a good lake town and then with the official uh, Lego Lord of the Rings and Hobbit uh, lake town sets as well as the cool uh, boat that came in those sets I think they all come together and uh, can be combined rather well and this was kind of always my vision to put uh, the Lego Ideas Viking Village with the official Lord of the Rings sets to make a lake town and I think they came together rather well and then this is like over our city of Dale which is like right next to it and that is the official uh, Battle of the Five Army set there uh, the tower and then uh, here's another look at the side of the Viking Village because this is a fantastic set. If you guys haven't picked up the Viking Village, you really should. It's one of the best uh, Lego sets the last couple of years and it's at a good reasonable price. So I definitely highly recommend it. And even if you you know don't want to do like what I did with it, just leave it as a Viking Village. It's a great set. Uh, but you can see uh, I like the rope bridge and everything and get, give it nice towers for like Bard to get up there like in the Hobbit films and there's our Lake Town guard and I made that little ramp there to kind of connect the two sets and there's one of the blue wizards because uh, there's officially two blue wizards in uh, Lord of the Rings lore and they're both of them in Lake Town and there's the first one and then here is the official sets. And what I really wanted to do was keep things at uh, an angle like the Viking villages, but then work it into the more traditional, you know, kind of square uh, style that uh, these sets are kind of uh, are supposed to be at. I think it came together rather well. And then uh, this little ship here, you can see another one of the bards up there uh, doing some fishing. Um, it's a nice, a nice ship that came in these sets. I, I really like it. And then here's the back side of it there. And these sets, they're, they're nice sets and were pretty overlooked by many fans during their original run, unfortunately. And uh, like I said, I think they're nice sets and mixing them with the Viking Village I, I think that they combine rather well yeah the colors are a little bit different but that's okay and it definitely helps give the feel you know and vibe that you're in like a lake town scene and then there's just a, a custom minifigure I put together a little uh, individual at Lake Town and and then now here's the back of those sets. You can see the little jails down there underneath the Blue Wizard. As we move on over to the actual uh, Viking Village set, which again, I can't speak higher of this set. You know, for the price point, everything, just a really good set for whether you're a Lord of the Rings fan, medieval fan, pirate fan, or whatever. You know, don't sleep on the Viking Village. I honestly wouldn't hate getting another one. As, uh, and then we see all the different minifigures down there. Uh, there is Bane, he's Bard's son, and he has the black arrow in his hand. And there's a Bilbo Baggins there, and there is the Master of the Lake. And I just, I think this building makes a 
great uh, like house for the Lake Town Master. And here's another custom minifigure I put together uh, with some parts I had uh, in the collection. And here's a little like blacksmith shop and you know all the insignias and everything I think uh, blend well to going in a Lord of the Rings type display as well. And then this is the Battle of Five Armies set. And um, it came with more of it. I, the only thing that I kept intact was the tower itself. Um, but it wasn't a bad set originally. And then here, this mock is one of the Mrs. Earlier mocks, in all honesty. And uh, she made this little building, and we've had it for, you know, quite a few years now in different uh, layouts and everything. And here is the back of the tower and then the inside of this building and then here is the side view of our lake town and city of dale and that is my video for you guys today thanks so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and tell me down in the comments if you plan on picking up the lego viking village well thanks everybody for watching see you in the next one hey thanks for watching and don't forget we got merch store if you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance to stop by. We'll take care of you.